Checkmate 227 trial is a trial which tries to evaluate different options from metastatic non-small cell lung cancer patients frontline. The idea of 227 is to try to envisage a chemotherapy-free regimen for these patients with metastatic disease. We had some data about monotherapy checkpoints, but this data apply or this strategy applies only for already inflamed tumors, meaning the high PL1 tumors. 227 is trying to enlarge this group of patients where you could be chemo-free for the first line. So it's evaluating EP niveau versus chemotherapy in all commerce patients. The endpoint is targeting only the positive PD-1 patients that were the knowledge we had at that time. So primary endpoint is overall survival for EP niveau, a low dose of ipilimumab versus chemotherapy in positive pd one This primary endpoint was met with an improvement in overall survival, a hazard ratio of 0.79, and like we see usually with immunotherapy trial, a late and growing benefit for the immunotherapy as compared to the chemotherapy. So this is obviously a new option in this positive PD-1 patient. It was 1,200 patients, so a large trial with very mature survival curve, 29 months follow-up. It, uh, EP niveau was also improving the response rate, the PFS, and very importantly, the duration of response. Half of these patients were still in response at two years in the EP niveau arm, which is really something speaking or maybe suggesting long-term benefit from this strategy. The last thing which is interesting is uh, 227 is there was a separated cohort of patients with negative PDL1. And here you could also compare EP niveau versus chemo, although it was exploratory. And the same benefit is observed in negative. Same hazard ratio and very similar, uh, even a little better, and very similar outcome of EP niveau in positive or in negative. So per protocol, the endpoint is met, but is probably met uh, across all subgroups of PD-1 patients. So what to say? It's a new treatment opportunity. The idea is not to tell one is better than the other one because we need better biomarkers to know the granularity of selection of treatment. But the good news is now we have many treatment options, chemo IO, IO in selected patients, IO, IO from metastatic non-small cell lung cancer patients.